And now we're going to move on to the five best conversational Christian podcasts, according to me. My favorite top Christian podcast. Before we move on, I want to tell you about these five podcasts that are in my top list. It's because they are conversational. You know, the church for a long time has had messages recorded on audio. It used to be a cassette tape and then it evolved into recorded into a CD. Then eventually, video cameras were accessible to everyone. And with that, well, the sermon and preaching, the sermon and preaching, now you can, you can listen to anyone on YouTube or Spotify or whatever you want. So what I noticed is that what someone would consider a Christian podcast based on this is somebody's preaching or this is somebody's sermon just on a podcast format, AKA just a recorded version of it. Well, about six, seven, maybe 10 years ago, this other version of Christian podcasts is starting erupting, which are a little bit more conversational. So number one, the number one Christian podcast is actually the Bad Christian Podcast. Bad Christian Podcast. Now these guys, they come from a band called Emery. They started um, like in early 2000s. I've been listening to the band you know, every now and then because I grew up listening to Christian music. So eventually I found out about Emery. So anyways, at some point, one of my friends who's a fan of Emery said, hey, you should check out this guy. these dudes have a podcast and they're saying weird, not weird, they're saying crazy. They're utilizing this podcast as an avenue to say things you normally don't hear from a pastor or from a pulpit or within the confines of what we would we would call the church. Okay? So I started listening to these guys. They went on a very progressive, very uh, post-Christian uh, type of questioning, type of... Uh, some people would even consider it blasphemous or or even not Christian at all, which I think serves the name, bad Christian, right? So anyways, I've been listening to that almost like from the get-go. And I think even though, yes, they criticize the church again and again or questioning its methods and whatever, I think, I think the approach is sincere. And I think if you're a Christian, and you are doubting your faith, well, this podcast is either gonna push you all the way, it's gonna push you to one extreme. It's gonna make your faith stronger, and maybe you're gonna move away from it, or it's gonna, <laughs> it's gonna send you all the way to your deepest deconstruction, and who knows what might happen after that. I found that it was helpful for me to listen to it. Uh, I'd struggle with uh, a lot of the questions that they, they brought to the table. I think I'm happy to say, you know, I still have faith. I'm still a believer in Jesus Christ. I don't say that even, even as I say it, it sounds kind of weird, but I don't say it lightly, all right? But I feel like these guys were at the forefront of conversation, of bringing something brand new in, in the way they were approaching technology and the usage of podcasting and all of that stuff. So anyways, second best Christian podcast of all times. And by this time, I'm thinking maybe I'll reduce this to three. I don't know. We'll see. Number two, the Vox podcast with Mike Erie or Mike Erre. Well, I'm from Mexico, so I pronounce my R's like that, like R. Okay, say it with me. R, R con R, cigarro. Okay, you got it. Why I love the Vox podcast with Mike R. Well, one first, he used to be a pastor at a church I used to go here in Costa Mesa. Some people might typically call mega church, which, <laughs> uh, just that term. He used to be a pastor there, phenomenal teacher. He would open up scripture and, and make it so relevant for, for anybody listening to him. Eventually, he kind of deconstructed from the institution of the church and created a podcast called The Vox 
podcast. And out of that podcast, actually a community of faith and believers started, which was called the Vox Community. Super interesting way of starting a new church by starting a podcast. And I think it just happened organically. It wasn't like, oh, and we're going to start a podcast and we're going to do a church. It just grew again because of the questions that they were bringing to the table in which he was bringing you know, things like LGBTQ issues, immigration, politics. So this guy, in a sense, just brought the elements to the table and then he kind of you know, wrestled through with what would Jesus kind of think or what would Jesus' opinion be on things and how should the church respond to some of these you know, massive, sometimes even controversial elements of society. All right, well, that's the Vox podcast. Highly recommend. It's just so good. Check it out. Number three, the Holy Post podcast. I love these dudes, Phil Vischer and Sky Jatani. Well, Phil Vischer, if you don't know, guy that created this animation cartoons back in the probably late 90s, this cartoon called VeggieTales. Now, what's cool about VeggieTales is that every now and then they would have bands doing songs for the show. So one of my favorite bands, for example, Reliant K did a, did a song in VeggieTales style or about VeggieTales. Phil Vischer started this podcast called Holy Post. So good because it kind of resembles a little bit of the funny aspects of a creator. I mean, the guy created, create, <laughs> the guy created, the guy created VeggieTales. So this is a funny dude, but he is a little bit sarcastic, kind of like the Simpsons in a lot of his comments. So some people might, you know, might get annoyed a little bit by his sarcasm, but it's good, you know, it, it's funny. And then Sky Jatani, he's just an amazing writer. He's been writing for religion or Christian publications for the last, I don't know how many years, but the guys, his opinions are, very substantial you should check it out you know and it's also kind of they, they kind of have this like weekly rhythm of reading news and kind of tell you what's going on in the world and then they present to you an amazing interview by you know an author or a scholar or whatever holy post podcast highly recommend number three now number four i don't even know which one sh we should do for number four there's so many ones and again I'm just I just want to say I'm, I'm avoiding podcast of preachers and sermons. There's a lot of them that are really good that I would you know, recommend. I just want to recommend you conversational podcasts, okay? A podcast that I really 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 enjoyed. I don't know if they they continue to do it or not. Mark Sayers and then this other pastor from Portland, Oregon named John Mark Comer. So anyways, I kind of follow a little bit in the tracks of this guy, Mark, um, John Mark Comer. And the guy ended up doing this podcast called This Cultural Moment. Now, like I said, I don't, I don't think they kept doing it, but the questions they were bringing to the table were so good. You should check it out. And if anything, the guy, no, Mark, John Mark Comer is phenomenal. He's written several books. And then he's got another podcast which is based the ruthless elimination of hurry. So they have a podcast called and hustle. It's called fight hustle and hurry. I just search it up right here. <laughs> Phenomenal conversations brought to the table. And there's many more, many, many more podcasts that are phenomenal. I would recommend, but in the fifth place, I recommend this brand new podcast by yours truly, which is named Christian Podcast. Now, I know that's a little bit silly. That's a little bit, it's kind of like a stupid name. Uh, but I feel like it's what made sense for my calling and what I believe God is going to do with the church in the 21st century and who knows, maybe in the 22nd century and more to come. In a sense, it's not a podcast for me, it's a gift for the church of the future, 
from yours truly and humble servant, Beto Gudinho. So, by the way, that's one of the things I'm trying to do with Christian Podcast. You should check it out at christianpodcast.com. Find my channel, subscribe, make a good positive review or bad review, doesn't matter. Um, just listen to it, you know. I'm, I'm stepping in into one of my passions and one of my callings. You know, got to start somewhere. So, anyways, check it out. If you like this list, if you agree to some of these, if you have checked them out and think, yeah, there's more, of course, why don't you type them in the comments? Let me know which ones are your favorites. Let me know which ones have been helpful for you, maybe which ones you're wrestling with. Um, we'd love to hear from you. All that to say, those are the top five Christian podcasts in the world. Again, my name is Beto Gudinho, and I'm gonna try to do more YouTube stuff. So if that makes sense, and you like this content, would you subscribe to this channel? I'm gonna bring you full episodes, and then who knows, some good stuff like this, where we talk about faith, we talk about culture, we talk about the 21st century, and the church of the future. If you're up for the challenge, make sure you subscribe, you hit the like button, uh-huh, hit it, and then share this with your friends. All right, good to see you guys from the bunker in Costa Mesa, California. See you in the next one.